Hello, and welcome to a... Wait, where's... The United States of America honestly feels like it only lives up to about three of the four words in its name nowadays, especially after this midterm election season. However, if there's ever a time where America can come together, it's when something even bigger than our normal election time shenanigans happens, such as after a national tragedy, or a pandemic, or... Oh, wait, that... That didn't happen. The United States is made up of 50 states, the District of Columbia, as well as a couple of really sad islands. And we haven't added a new state since March of 1959. And dang nabbit, I think it's time we change that. You know, bringing some unity to the table, supposedly. But of course, putting all the power into one dumb line to make a new state is a bad idea. And so that's why I told you guys, my fans, to create a state. Now, while we are creating a new state, Truth be told, I think 50 is just such a nice number of states to have. And plus, if the number changed to 51, we have to update all the flags. But hey, we've updated the USA flag so many times before. What difference will one star make? Let's see what that would look like. Okay, let's get a state out. So, how will this creating a state thing work? Well, first I had you guys suggest one state to get the boot to replace for a new state. And then I put those states suggested against each other in a poll. And whichever state won would be the one getting kicked out. And it works like this for everything else we do in this video. The states suggested to get the boot were Texas, Idaho, Wyoming, and Missouri. Oh, the, misery. the winner, or I guess the loser in this case, was Texas. Some Texan is probably going to shoot me now for making this video. Let me just redraw these borders so the new state doesn't look quite like Texas. There we go. Sorry, Walter. <laughs> now, of course, this new state needs a name. And it needs to be a great name, since we have such great names in America, such as Delaware, or Connecticut, or I'm sorry, Connecticut. Now, I thought the state naming process would be simple. Little did I know, it would actually turn into a hellfire. There were five suggestions on the state name. P-Land? Okay. East California, Del Rey, and the two immediate frontrunners, Nishoba, which I guess comes from some Magic the Gathering card? I don't know. Oh my god, it's a first! The other frontrunner was... Cash Register. Yes, Cash Register was a major frontrunner to become the state's official name. Imagine you're in the Senate, and something like this happens. I hope Congress makes the right decision and votes yes on this bill. For a better future, not just for America, but for the whole world. <laughs> Thank you, Senator for Illinois. I'd now like to call upon the Senator from the great state of Cash Register to speak on this bill. <laughs> right off the bat, the people supporting Neshoba were fighting hard for their name to win. Vote Neshoba so Cash doesn't win. Please, I'm begging. Fight like your life is on the line! Calm down, guys. It's just a state name. Although, in saying that, the side fighting for Cash Register wasn't any better. Alan, the person who suggested the name, started making these... videos? For some reason, I'll let them speak for themselves. Guys, people of our new sovereign state, if we let AJ suggested, then <laughs> all right, everyone, Kylie and uh, you've you you heard what I said about what will ha what the consequences of this will be. Yeah, you guys are absolutely the worst. We're letting like cat register win because we're all jerks. Good lord, guys, calm down. You all need to go outside and touch some grass! Touch it! Go! After that, Zappy Zebra tried to rig the vote by also voting on her alt account. With just a few minutes to go, and the vote tied now, it was all up to Peyton to decide the winner. Both sides were desperately waiting on what would happen, and Peyton even suggested that he might switch the vote last second for the sake of trolling. But ultimately, Nishoba won. Then the cash register side immediately tried claiming the vote was rigged, despite Zappy being the one who tried to rig it for the cash register side anyway. You know what happened? They rigged it. The election was rigged. This was a bad sign. Our new state was already divided, and it was over something really small. I knew something that wasn't done soon, Neshoba would return to just being like the Texas of before. The very reason we replaced it in the first place. What kind of place is this? So, even though I had the governor election farther down on my list of things that needed to get done, I moved it to the top. Because, hopefully, a good governor can heal the wounds that this great state is currently suffering with. Maybe, just maybe, the state can be healed and reunited. Everyone fought again. Tonight, the heat is on in South Neshoba. 
The Neshoba Governor's Debate starts right now. All right, and welcome to the 2022 Neshoba Governor Debates. Now, I don't actually know who the candidates are going to be. So, let's see what candidates the viewers have nominated that you, the people, will have to vote between. Up first, we have Greg Abbott. His legs. Just his legs. We also have a homeless man, Lois Griffin. 9-11. <laughs> and... We have our two frontrunners in this race. We have Jerma. <laughs> and then we have a, a furry. Yeah, so I guess Alan nominated his persona as one of the candidates. And the way he went about his campaign was a dumpster fire. AJ didn't even run a campaign for Jerma. The basis of the whole campaign was vote for him because it's funny. What's your favorite animal? It's a zebra, a zebra. Mine's a frog. Why? I kind of just like the word. The reason it's your favorite is because of the word? I enjoy the word, especially the letters. Meanwhile, Alan used an alt account for his Sona and started talking about, like, housing homeless puppies or whatever. And then he and Alan kept talking to themselves like they were separate people. Like, come on, guys, this is embarrassing. He then refused to acknowledge the state name, kept playing dumb when I was telling him that voting on an alt account could be considered breaking the vote, and then claimed the election was stolen when he lost. This is why people don't take us very seriously. So now, we have our state of Neshoba and our governor, Jerma. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You want me to stream snipe Chuck E. Cheese? Now, we need a state motto to entice people to visit. Texas's motto is simply friendship, which is super boring. It also feels like it should be swapped with New Hampshire's. But anyways, let's look at our options for our state slogan. We have, we eat guns and shoot burgers the American way. Guns are us. And... The asphalt state. The winner was the asphalt state. Because here in the state of Neshoba, we love our 20 lane hideaways that will definitely fix traffic this time. Just one more lane, bro. I swear. Just one more lane. We, it'll, it'll fix traffic. You just gotta make it wider and you gotta make it bigger. It'll fix traffic. Well, now we have our 20 lane freeways and our thousands of displaced citizens into our capital city. But we don't even have a name for it. Let's look at our options. We have Onella. Police! Is that Fish Jenga? No! Gaylord. <laughs> Lord. Arcadia and racism. What? Oh, wait, there's another one as well. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this thing. Oh, well, it's in there. And of course it wins! Whatever. Now we have our great capital city of. But we don't even have a state flag to fly over our capital building. Let's see some flags my viewers have submitted to become the state flag. So first we have. Are you serious? This is just a photograph. Reminds me of the flag of Geneseo, Kansas, which yes, this is real by the way. Next. Oh, God. I don't even know where to begin with this flag. I get it. Flags are supposed to have symbolism to show the diversity of the people and the land it flies over. But this is too literal. Half of the symbols I have to blur out so YouTube doesn't go into a hissy fit, but I can tell you that literally every single possible ideology is on this thing. There's a Fortnite logo next to a piece and an Illuminati sign. And the whole thing is a confederate crossover of pride and a trans flag. Is that a Reddit logo next to the EU? Which is next to a Trump sign? Which is next to an Apple logo? Which is next to a Star of David? And then we have... Blue and gray background with the name of the state over it. How creative. And then we have... State Siwana blue background. Just like all the rest of them. And this is the one that was picked. Also, the whole flag isn't even centered. That's just fantastic. Anyways, we need some food for the people of our state to eat. And some resources for our state to harvest. Let's see the winner of the state resource. Asphalt. How creative. Now, let's see the options for the food. Let, let me just, uh, let me just add a vote here. That being said, asphalt can look like a brownie sometimes. And for the state animal, you guys picked capybara. Which is cool and all. But considering how much you guys seem to love asphalt and highways, all of them have probably been run over by now. How's that one make you feel? You killed them all! You killed all the capybaras! Okay, I pull up. Well, with all our wildlife dead, let's get the state an iconic building that people can look at instead. So we have the Dublin Spire, the Pawtucket Pat statue. That statue belongs right here in the park, next to the statue of Father Touch Boys. That statue was removed a year ago. For what? And the AT&T building in Dallas. The winner was the building in Dallas. Just look at it. It is definitely one of the buildings of all time. So great. Now we have a beautiful, a, a building for visitors to come look at. 
Well, we don't even have a welcome sign to greet the tourists that are coming to see it. Let's take a look at what it is, shall we? Of course, it's a parking lot. And I'm going to guess what they came up for a license plate isn't any better. That's, that's just the Texas one. Like, literally, that's just the Texas one. By the way, little side tangent here. The Texas license plate is a complete joke. It's boring and a big old nothing sandwich. Compare this to what it used to be. This looks awesome. This makes me want to delete anyone who approved this design. So, you know what? Goodbye, Zappy. Now that that's gone, let's look at our real new license plate. So this is all the state is. It's, it's just highways and car dependent infrastructure. I thought the point of this video was that we were supposed to create a new, better state, not just recreate Texas for a second time. Well, whatever. You people have fun moving there. I'm staying put in Illinois. Wait, what's happening?